going? Uh, my name is Ray Barella, a junior high pastor at Victor Outreach Chino. Amen. And uh, today I just wanted to do a quick uh, review of a software that we've used, a resource that we've used for a very important area uh, of ministry, which is administration. And uh, administration is so very important, and in particular, the junior high ministry, I'm talking about uh, how we check in kids, uh, what we do with that information, how we use that information uh, to grow the ministry and grow the church. Uh, one thing that I've learned over the uh, course, course of the uh, you know the past couple years was uh, I learned through mistake was um, you know the purpose or goal of a junior high ministry is not just to be successful in and of itself, but it's to really uh, uh, you know um, accent and come alongside the house vision, basically bring growth to the church. It's very important to understand that because early as a leader, I put a lot of passion, excitement, a very extreme person, and I put a lot of attention and focus to building the ministry, and, and I did. We did. A lot, our team did. But uh, really, if you want to gauge the success of the ministry, it's how it contributed to the growth of the church, to keeping families, to keeping people. And so uh, this this resource, this tool, uh, helps us to do that, and it's called a ministry hub. Uh, or if you look on the Apple uh, application store, you'd search MinHub, M-I-N-H-U-B, and uh, basically the icon uh, looks a little like that, where it says MinHub right there. And uh, yeah, so anyways, uh, what your, uh, you know, the way that it works is uh, it's able to uh, log in or check in your students as they come in. I'm going to just kind of show you a little bit. Um, it's called MinHub. And what it does is uh, it keeps, first of all, a database of all of your students um, that you have total in the church. And uh, that's very important. Uh, another thing that it does is it uh, you're able to create subgroups. You're able to create groups um, to kind of... Uh, have filtered groups of people that you can then use that information for your benefit as a leadership team. For example, um, you're able to separate uh, all the girls, uh, you're able to separate all the guys, uh, you're able to uh, even create a group of people that didn't show up uh, on Sunday morning. And so uh, then you could message those people and say, hey, you know, we missed you. I didn't see you on church on Sunday. Uh, I noticed that you were gone, you know, uh, you know, give me a call. Maybe we could pray or something like that. You could really engage. Uh, and also there's even a you could create a filter, which is like the new kids. The first first time uh, registrations that come in and sign in for the very first time. Uh, this is real important because you can then uh, run those reports, give them to your pastor, say, hey, pastor, you know, we had, uh, you know, 16 new kids which is significant because it represents 16 new families and um, you know all of our churches have I'm sure beautiful amazing uh, follow-up um, you know ministries uh, but even sometimes families and people could slip through the cracks this is just one more way to engage and keep that family uh, for any reason they get by they don't you know go to the cafe they don't uh, fill out a VIP card or something like that if their child went to new gen service and they signed in uh, all their information is safe uh, kept and you're able to at least keep that family by the string or thread uh, of the junior high ministry or new gen so it's very very important tool uh, to be able to uh, reach out um, you know because our goal like I said is is not just to grow the junior high ministry even when we look in Chino here I don't I don't feel accomplished by looking oh we have 60 junior hires or 70 or whatever I, I, those people uh, come uh, you know what I mean uh, because their families bring them and so really if you want to gauge your success is who did we influence to come that wasn't uh, you know going to come and so even for instance when we look at the roster here uh, we have 154 students 154 that's a lot of kids do we have that uh, every Sunday no so uh, this helps us as a tool to see who's not coming who's not consistently coming uh, so we can reach out to them connect with them build a relationship with them um, and even you it even has messaging capabilities here so if I if I wanted a message um, a group of guys, which let's say I went to guys, I can create or compose a text message through the app and I could then for, at that point uh, be able to send a message to all the guys, hit send, and then it'll cross it over into my text app and I'd be able to compose literally probably like 70 text messages either directed to a group 
or individual kids one at a time saying, hey, what's going on, call me, hey, what's going on, call me. And so it's just a very powerful tool. Um, you're also able to uh, run stats and a you're able to see kind of charts, uncheck the progress and the growth of your ministry on a month basis, three months, six months, and year. Um, and you're just, you're able to do so many things. Uh, let me go ahead and show you uh, basically one of the reports here. Let's just say for uh, Sunday the 18th, uh, 33 students it gives you it gives you the ability here to see uh, how many uh, girls came how many uh, guys came uh, what schools they even came from what grades they were 14 eighth graders uh, four you know nine uh, seventh graders two came from Magnolia Junior High two came from Vernon High, one came from Upland High, and you're able to really just really be a good steward over the flock that God has entrusted us with. And so um, the way the process would work is uh, you'd go ahead and go into a service, you create all these events, and I could give you more details. This is kind of just like a opening up, kind of a, um, you know, an opening to the app. But say I was gonna do, let's say November 1st, uh, I would it would be empty, be, and I would go ahead and select uh, take attendance, at that point, uh, you know, one of our junior high workers would stand there, and as people walked in, they would click on their faces to to sign in when they seen themselves, and they would click on their faces like that. If for any reason they were not in the system they, and they're looking, they don't see themselves. It's because they haven't been entered. At that point, they'd be able to hit new student, and they would be able to go ahead and fill, uh, you know, first name, last name, right there from the iPad. Uh, it's a, it also uh, gives them a spot to enter their parent information, and it closes off that that uh, you know that little session by having them take a selfie or taking a picture of themselves. And so you could see why this app would be real effective. Um, first of all, safety purposes, uh, you have uh, you, you're able to be, give account of who came to the services, who signed in, um, who was there, um, what the kids look like in the event of emergency, um, parent information, their information, um, who came who didn't come, who's connected, uh, you're able to contact them on a regular basis, weekly basis. Um, this app is just, it's absolutely amazing. Um, it's not free, I think it's like $20 or so, but I mean $20 uh, well spent. Um, our team uses this app and on a weekly basis we track our progress, we track our, our growth, uh, we reach out to first time guests, try to make them feel welcome, send them personalized uh, text messages. Um, so this is just one of the ways of how we're able to be effective and do ministry uh, using uh, you know, administration and creative tools to do so. And so I wanna encourage you uh, to just be a good steward. Take into account really your approach and how you handle administration. Uh, signing in may not seem like a big deal. It may not seem uh, like you know something that's worthy of putting attention to, uh, but I think if you're gonna go anywhere, uh, you definitely have to know where you're at. And uh, it's kind of hard to know, you know, just by train of thought or by mind or whatever, uh, where you're at, how many kids you have, how many kids you're keeping, how many kids are coming in, going out, how many are not consistently coming. And so if you don't have no system of doing that, this app's a great way to kind of get that rolling uh, and an easy, uh, you know, uh, app base, something we're familiar with, a fun, creative way. So I want to challenge you guys to go ahead and uh, implement this. Again, it's called MinHub, M-I-N-H-U-B, and uh, you could go ahead and look that up. It's only for Apple devices, and you'd have to actually also create create a Dropbox account specifically for uh, this app, but it's well worth it, it's super awesome. Uh, please go ahead and uh, message me um, or if you want more information or if you have more details or if you're using it and it's been effective for you, uh, go ahead and send me that information. I'd love to hear about how it's working for you, how you've been using it. Um, bottom line is, uh, you know, we want our new gen to serve God for life. And, and if we're gonna serve God for life, they're gonna need leadership that's close to them. The Bible records in John, it says that, uh, you know, that the good shepherd, right, uh, is there to take care of them and meet their needs. And, uh, and the Bible also says that how sheep respond to strangers. The Bible says that they, they know the shepherd's voice, but they don't know a shepherd. They don't know strangers and they run. They actually flee uh, from strangers. So we want to be leadership that's in their lives, close to them, uh, engaged with them. And uh, they don't just come and attend our functions, but we're in their life because uh, I'm a firm believer uh, that successful ministry or the equation to success in junior high ministry 
is a needy kid plus a caring adult. And if you have those two things functioning together, uh, you're going to be effective and you're going to keep young people and they're going to serve God for life. They're going to get connected. They're going to find their giftings and they're just going to soar in their relationship with the Lord.